Hi, it's a terrific afternoon in Cota de Casa, and today we're talking about 10 differences between lizards and iguanas. First is their taxonomy. Lizards come from a large group of reptiles, which come from the order Squamata. There are over 6,000 different species of lizards. Iguanas are a special type of lizard, and they come from the family Iguanidae. There are only about 35 different species of iguanas. So simply put, all iguanas are lizards, but not all lizards are iguanas. Number two, where they live. Lizards live everywhere on Earth except Antarctica. Iguanas, on the other hand, only live in North, Central, and South America and parts of Southern Asia. Number three, what they look like. All lizards share similar physical features. They have movable eyelids, external ear openings, and four legs. They change or adapt these features based on their specific environments and habitats. For example, some have rough and thick skin to prevent water loss, while others have smooth skin to prevent them from getting stuck in the mud. Iguanas have these same features, but they have more of a distinctive look. Most iguanas have a big head, sharp teeth, sharp claws, and scaly skin. The most distinctive features of iguanas are the spines, which run down their backs. Number four their colors. Lizards have a variety of different colors and patterns, such as red, yellow, blue, tan, brown, black, or green. It is rare to find a lizard with just one color, and most have color patches or different colors on their heads, bodies, limbs, and underbellies. Iguanas also come in different colors, but not as many. They are mostly found in varieties of gray, black, blue, and red. Like all lizards, it is rare to find an iguana with just one color, and the colors are more distinct during mating season. Number five, their size. Lizards vary in sizes. Some species are less than one inch long and weigh only 0.02 ounces, while others grow up to 10 feet and weigh up to 330 pounds. Iguanas also vary in size, but not as extremely as lizards. The smallest ones are only about five inches long and weigh about one pound, and the largest ones are about seven feet and weigh 13 pounds. Number six, what they eat. Most lizards are insectivores. They eat cockroaches, crickets, ants, and beetles. Many are also omnivores and eat almost anything, including insects, carrion, spiders, fruits, flowers, and vegetables. Some are also strictly herbivores, or simply plant eaters. There are also carnivorous lizards, like the Komodo dragon, which will even eat a water buffalo. In contrast, iguanas are primarily herbivores, and they stick to plants, herbs, flower buds, and flowers. However, some may also eat small insects, and large iguanas may also eat small mammals and even birds. Number seven, are they venomous? There are only two species of lizards which are known to be venomous the Mexican beaded lizard, and the Gila monster. There are no known venomous iguanas, or at least some do produce venom, but is not poisonous to humans. Number eight, how they breed. Lizards can either lay eggs or give live birth. If they lay eggs, most of the time they just bury them and leave them alone, except for skinks, which tend to protect their eggs. If they give live birth, then they typically stay around to protect their young. Iguanas, on the other hand, only lay eggs. They do not give live birth. During the rainy season, the males will fertilize the eggs inside the females. Then the females will carry the fertilized eggs around until dry season, when she will lay about 30 to 50 eggs in the ground. Then the eggs will hatch after about three months. Number nine, how long they live. Lizards have a relatively short lifespan, and most do not live longer than one year. Iguanas, however, live for a very long time. In fact, some may live up to 20 years old. And number 10, finally, who makes a better pet? Most people prefer iguanas over lizards as pets. They tend to be more intelligent, more exotic looking, easy to feed, and live much longer. All right, I hope you enjoyed learning about the 10 differences between lizards and iguanas. Thanks for watching, have a great day, bye.